Hey, this is Haley Wojcik, and you're watching On The Scene. This song is for the lovers. And the friends, I guess. I hope it doesn't work. I hope you make each other as miserable as you made me. I hope it blows up in your face. Michigan originally. I, I grew up there. My parents were zookeepers and so I spent a lot of time in the zoo when I was growing up um, and I didn't have any brothers or sisters so I have a song kind of about that on the record not to be cheesily referencing my own songs but um but yeah so I, I grew up there. I went to college there in Kalamazoo and uh, then I moved out here a couple years ago and uh, decided to do music. No one really in my family is musical. Um, I just sort of picked it up kind of randomly. Um, when I was really young I wanted to be like a paleontologist or a surgeon or something like that, scientific, which is more the background of like my parents being zookeepers and interested in science and wildlife biology and things and then just sort of out of nowhere I decided that I wanted to be an artist and uh, and then that sort of morphed into wanting to be a musician but um, I sort of just picked up the guitar um, and uh, had a few lessons and then started writing songs and um, and then I, I had had some piano lessons and stuff, so so I, I just kind of did that. But I'm not, I don't really have any sort of formal training. I didn't go to school for music. Um, I went to school for creative writing um, and uh, French French minor, which I have yet to do anything with. But hopefully a tour in France is forthcoming. Um, and uh, and yeah, but my parents have always been really supportive, um, despite not being musicians themselves. They're they're totally into it, and and they're I'm sure they would be good musicians if they tried. All right, so you commented on my Dolly book, and I actually also um, mentioned this on my blog because I got this book for Christmas. Um, but I've been a, a big I'm a big fan of country music in general, um, and uh, you know specifically older country music like Loretta Lynn and. Johnny Cash and things like that. Um, but I'm actually in the midst of, of uh, trying to start a country band, a side project, and I would love to do some some Dolly songs. There, she's one of my favorite songwriters. Um, okay, so the story behind the title, Diorama, um, I decided to make, I actually, I wanted to make dioramas just for fun, um, and nobody wanted to do it with me, so I decided I was going to do it myself, and then I decided that I would do it for the record, so that I would feel like I was being more productive, and, um, and so I made a diorama representing each song on the record, um, and, uh, and that was, that was a really fun project for me. I'm really interested in, um, I mean, I love like museum dioramas and and, uh, and also the, the original like, usage of the word sort of like a pre-theater type of presentation that people would go to, pre-film type of presentation. Um, and uh, so so I, I think it's sort of like, you know, not to be too pretentious, but sort of symbolically relevant for the, the record. And I like to think that all the songs are sort of like their own little diorama, like musically as well, um, and yeah. I didn't grow up with no brothers. I, I have a lot of fun singing um, "Raised in a Zoo" live, um, mostly because I have <laughs> tried to. Uh, I've, I've, I've allowed myself to dance a little bit on stage during that song, which may be a mistake. 
but I, uh, I, I have fun doing it and it's one of the songs that I don't um, play an instrument on, that one and Pumpkin Teeth which I just hit the pot um, and so uh, so those are, those are usually two pretty fun ones to do live and it's just sort of like a, like a fun song I guess. Um, so Amnesia uh, is a song that's sort of about um, about forgetting uh, forgetting all the terrible things that you say and do uh, to someone and that they say and do to you when you're in a relationship that is failing or flailing or whatever. And uh, so um, I kind of like a sort of like an eternal sunshine idea almost. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, I think I, I tried to sort of have sort of a circusy feel and sort of the effects of, of like sounds of like destructive sounds of people falling down the stairs. It's sort of violent, but in like a playful, like tongue in cheek kind of way. And, um, and it's you know, ukulele and it's singing along, and so it's usually a pretty fun one to do live. is like trying to engage with the audience because it is it is like you know a conversation kind of I guess um, that you're having and I get stage fright definitely and I I think it definitely helps to talk to people and 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 just try to engage with them um, that helps me at least so um, yeah I mean I think different people have different different styles of performing and obviously it works in different ways but but this is what what I'm trying to do and, and I'm getting I guess more comfortable as we did a, a little tour for the first time um, last month and I think that really helped sort of so I'm feeling more comfortable with you know yeah I like to try and get the audience involved not in a cheesy like Gallagher kind of way but hopefully in a way that's interesting oh, oh, oh. very stressful times and, and struggles involved with trying to do this uh, and I hate it when people act like it's you know really just easy it's not easy so um but the things that that really keep help me um, I mean the musicians that I've met out here are I've met so many amazing people and uh, and so just talking to them and uh, and and talking to people at shows and just playing, you know, I mean, it's it's really important to, even though you have to do all the, the logistical business promotional aspect, you know, uh, of, the, of the music, uh, it's really important to play as often as possible and I'm trying to do that myself because that's just what's really fun and, and talking to people at shows, it just sort of like makes me feel okay. Very 